So, question two. Some genetic disorders result from chromosome mutations. Translocation is one type of chromosome mutation. Describe how translocation occurs. Well, trans means opposite sides. And location is the area. And translocation happens in non-homologous chromosomes. And what that means is that uh, the chromosomes are not normally uh, part of a pair. So what that means is that these two chromosomes are part of a pair. Mm -hmm. And what happens, non-homologous chromosomes, this is how they look like. They're not paired. And translocation is when one part of a chromosome breaks off and joins to another non-homologous chromosome. So what happens is this. And that is translocation. It's when one part of a chromosome breaks off and joins to another non-homologous chromosome. The mark scheme has accepted if it breaks the phosphodiester bonds, and that is because uh, chromosomes are essentially all genes. And genes are a sequence of nucleotide bases, and the nucleotides are held together by a phosphodiester backbone. So essentially, if you break the phosphodiester bonds, you break the backbone, and so you've broken that sequence of the gene a sequence of nucleotides, so you've broken off the gene, and the genes are on chromosomes. Uh, but this is the correct answer. And so, name the type of chromosome mutation that results in Down syndrome. Well, Down syndrome occurs by non-disjunction. And what that is, is when the chromosomes of, hom of a homologous pair of chromosomes fail to separate correctly. So using our above example, this is the homologous pairs. And what happens is that they're not going to separate correctly so that we have this. Instead, if we say this chromosome failed to separate, we're going to get this. Mm -hmm. And chromosome and Down syndrome this occurs at chromosome 21. And so you have three chromosomes here. And so that's the name tri three -semi. Uh Trisomy specifically says it's three chromosomes, whereas polysomy just means it's uh, at least one chromosome more than the normal number. So it's non-specific. It can say uh, it doesn't. It doesn't say how many chromosomes more, but at least one. And other terms like aneuploidy just refers to saying there's an abnormal number of chromosomes in a cell. It doesn't say by how much. Mm -hmm. And this is because euploidy means the normal number of chromosomes in a cell. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Genetic disorders can be diagnosed by looking at an individual's karyotype. A karyotype shows the number of each type of chromosome present in a cell. The diagram shows the karyotype of cells taken from a female embryo. Explain what conclusion can be made about this, about this female embryo. Well, we can see that all these chromosomes come in pairs, and that's what we'd expect. However, chromosome 13 shows that there are three chromosomes, when normally they're supposed to be two. So what conclusion can be made here is polysomy has occurred. Mm -hmm. And 
to explain it? Well, we because we have at chromosome 13, we have more than two copies of one chromosome, when instead we're supposed to have two copies. Mm -hmm. And because the previous question was talking about Down syndrome, we can link it and say, well, if we look at chromosome 21, it's normal. So we can confirm that no Down syndrome is present. Mm -hmm. You can also say that this is trisomy. So trisomy 13, if you want.